Hi everyone, welcome to Beautiful Mandarin. 欢迎来到美丽汉语 Today we're gonna share several common mistakes, which are very easy to see in my beginner classes. But before we get started, I want to introduce our ninety-nine dollars program. With this program, we're gonna get you started easily. Our classes are systematically. Our teachers are very experienced. We also train them every one or two months regularly, which means we will maintain the high quality for your class. Our materials are very fun and practical, which not only includes our U.S. life, also includes the modern Chinese life, and also the traditional Chinese culture. We will have a beginner group start from this coming Wednesday. So call me now for more information. Don't miss this one. If you think not enough for you, then join our unlimited group class. With this package, you can make progress as fast as you want. This is one of the signature packages in Beautiful Mandarin. We could make you fluent around two years. So give me a call now. We'll make sure you'll find one fit your needs. Now let's start today's learning. If you are beginners for learning this language, after watch this video, if you have any of those mistakes, you probably can correct by yourself. The first one. You see, all of those are yes or no questions, which is means you can end up with the question word ma. So, as a beginner, the first way you learn to greet people, which is, are you good? 你好吗 But many students. Forgot to use question word ma. They just end up with 你好 I will think you just say hello to me. So I will say 你好 too, but not really answering your questions. What you should say is 你好吗 And the answer could be 我很好 I'm very good. 我还行 I'm okay. 我不错 I'm not bad. So do not forget ma. Otherwise, people won't feel you are asking them a question. Another example we can give, which is this one. 这是你的书 Actually, people want to ask, "Is this your book?" But if you don't put ma, people will think you will just tell them this is your book. So the correct way is. 这是你的书吗 Is this your book? So again, do not forget ma for your yes or no question. The second mistake. First, let's see which one is right. First one, 你什么名字 Second one, 你叫什么名字 So we can see obviously this one is correct, right? So this mistake is do not forget the verb 叫 I heard a lot of people ask a name with this question. 你什么名字 They want to see what's your name, but do not forget 你叫什么名字叫 is the verb here. Structure is subject, verb, object. The third mistake. First. Let's take a look at those two sentences. Which one is correct? First one, 哪儿你去 Second one, 你去哪儿 So we can tell people want to ask, where are you going? 第一个错，第二个对 Where's the mistake of the first sentence? The second one should be the right order. 你去哪儿 So this is the difference between Chinese and English. In English, we need to put question word in front of the sentence. But in Chinese, when we make a question, we still keep the original order of the statement sentence, which means if the answer is 我去学校
I'm going to a school. And if you ask a question, you keep the same structure, subject, subject, verb, object. And you will just need to use question word, na to replace the answer of xie xiao. And you keep the original order. It becomes ni qu na So this is the right. I heard a na ni qu a lot. That is wrong, okay? Ni qu na So this is about the structure of the sentence. Second mistake and the third mistake are all about the structure of the sentence. If you feel confused about this, please watch this video. And the last mistake. First, let's take a look which one is right and which one is wrong. 今天是什么号? 今天是几号? Definitely, the first one is wrong and the second one is right. So the mistake is about when should we use 什么 and when should we use 几? 什么 for asking what staff, what thing, but it's not for asking what number. When you want to ask what number is it, you want to use question word, 几? So if you want to ask what is the date of today, it's about a number, so you should use 几. 今天是几号? And next one, same thing. 今年是什么年? If you are seeking an answer, it's about a number, like 2020年, 2020, and you don't want to use 什么 to make this question, because if you ask with 什么, people would like to answer you with the zodiac. Maybe it's the mouse year, 鼠年, or the pig year, 猪年. Actually, you should ask, 今年是几几年? Then the people will answer you with the number of this year. That will be 2020年. So the first one is wrong, and the second one is right. Next one, 他什么岁? Actually, people want to ask, how old is he? So if the answer is, he is six years old, 他六岁, then definitely you should not use 什么. You should use 几, 他几岁, 他六岁. And the problem is, when should we use 什么, and when should we use 几? Remember, when you ask the question based on the number, you should use question word 几, or 多少. But if you feel confused about 几 and 多少, then leave your comments below. I could make another video to talk about the difference between Ji and the Doshao. Hope this video can help you to work it out. If you like our channel, please subscribe and leave your comment there. Also, turn on the bell. See you next time. Bye bye. 再见.